Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the problem panagram checking and the problem says that we'll be given a string or you can say that we'll be given a sentence and we have to check if all the English alphabets from A to Z are present inside the given string or you can say the sentence or not. So if either capital A or a small a is present then we will say that A is present. Okay, so for a particular character if either its capital representation is there or the small representation is there. Both will be okay for us, right? And we have to check this that for every character, either its capital or small or both representations should be present. So, so indirectly, all the 26 characters should be present either in capital or in small form. And then we can say that the given string would be a panagram. So let's see how we can do this. So basically the idea of hashing will come into your mind that what we can do is we can use a map and then we would be able to do it. But instead of that, what we can do is we can do it simply with by using an array. What we can do is suppose if you have zero, so zero can represent capital A as well as small a then one will represent capital B as well as small b two will represent capital C as well as small c okay and so on and so forth 25 will represent capital Z as well as small z how is that going to happen so basically whenever suppose that there is a character small a and you subtract it with small a so the uh, result of that would be zero if there is a character small b and you subtract it with what uh, you subtract it with small a you will get what you will get one then if there is a character small c and you subtract it with small a then you will get what you will get two so you can see that indirectly it is helping us to represent the small characters like b is represented in form of one c is represented in form of two by subtracting with small a okay if the character is small and similarly what we can do is if a character capital a is there and we subtract it with capital a we'll get zero if a character suppose is capital b and we subtract it with capital a we'll get one if a character is capital C and we subtract it with capital A, we'll get what? Two. So indirectly, you can see that capital B is represented in the form of one. So that is how we can subtract. If the character is capital, we can subtract it with capital A. If the character is in small format, so we can uh, subtract it with small A and we will get the corresponding index for it. And we will update the frequency of that index. And after that, at the end, we will iterate for all the indexes from 0 till 25. And if there is any index for which uh, the frequency is uh, not greater than 0, then we can say that that particular character is not present, neither in the capital format nor in the small format. So in that case, we will return false. Otherwise, we'll return true that the given string is a panagram string. So let's try and quickly implement this approach right here. Okay, so what we'll be doing here is we'll be basically first of all having let's say we'll be having a integer array. Okay, or let's name it as frequency and uh, it will be of 26 size initially and we'll mark all the frequencies initially as what initially as zero. Then after this, what we will do is we'll start iterating through the string. So we'll say that I starts from zero. I is less than str dot size. Then we will do what we will do I plus plus after this what we will do is we'll check that if the str of i if the ith character is greater or equal to capital a and the ith character is less than or equal to capital z then what we need to do is we need to say that it comes under the capital category so we'll say that frequency of uh, str of i the character minus a would be increased so the indexing will be a, a, a ith character minus capital a because the character is capital in nature okay otherwise suppose if the ith character that is there if it is greater or equal to small a and it is less than equal to small z then what we will do here is we'll say that uh, in the frequency array we will do str of i minus is small a and then we will do plus plus so if it is small uh, if it is a small character then we will subtract a uh, small a from it okay in order to get this frequency now once that is done so what we will do is we'll iterate for all the indexes from 0 till 25 so i is less equal to 25 now and then we will do an i plus plus here and after this we will check that if there is any index uh, for which the frequency is equal to zero right so in that case we can simply say that we'll be returning what we'll be returning false because the string will not be a panagram because for a panagram you need to have 
all the characters present but if there is any character that is not present neither in the small format nor in the capital format then you have to return false otherwise at the end of the day if you never return a false then you will say that you will return true indicating that the given string is a panagram so let's try and quickly compile this code and check if it is working fine on the samples or not so it is working fine on the samples let us submit this code as well to check if it is getting accepted okay so you can see that our code is clearly getting accepted now talking about the time complexity of my code so basically the time complexity of my code would be order of n for iterating through all the characters of the string plus order of 26 uh, for because i'm iterating from 0 till 25 so that will overall be order of n only because our order of 26 is nothing but constant in nature and talking about the space complexity so i am taking only 26 space so that's nothing but constant uh, order of one space right order of 26 is nothing but constant space okay so in case if you understood this problem and the approach clearly please make sure to hit the like button and comment down understood as well thank you for watching this video guys